I don't know of any caterpillar that frustrates gardeners more this time of year than fall webworm. A fall webworm is a caterpillar that makes a web in the tree on the ends of branches usually, and as it needs more foliage to feed on, it will expand the web and get larger and larger. Some people confuse this pest with eastern tent caterpillar, which occurs in the spring. It makes a web down the crotches of branches and then travels out beyond that during the day to feed. The fall webworm stays within its web. And the web gets larger and larger and is very, very unsightly. The thing you need to be aware of on fall webworms, not only is it unsightly, but it can be very damaging to our pecan trees. Commonly you'll see it on pecan and persimmon trees and some other ornamentals. But on pecans, it doesn't hurt our nut crop so much this year, but eating all that foliage can affect next year's nut crop. Another problem with fall webworm is that it has two generations. The first generation usually occurs in July. The second one comes along in August or early September it's late in the season, it's hot, it's usually fairly dry, and the trees are more stressed. It's that second generation of fall webworm that can do more damage to next year's crop. Also, at the same time that fall webworm is feeding, walnut daytana is usually feeding on our pecan trees as well. It makes no web, but it can completely strip the tree of foliage. Now, to control fall webworm, there are several ways to go about it. On low-hanging branches like this, you can just take pruning shears and prune it away. That's one way to control it. You can also spray the tree with either seven, malathion, or bacillus thuringiensis to control the webworms. However, if you have great big pecan trees in a backyard situation, this is not the least bit practical. One thing we do recommend is if you have fall webworm, take good care of your tree. Make sure it gets plenty of water through the month of August, and come February, Make sure you fertilize it so it can produce plenty of abundant foliage next year.